I'm trying to figure out the way to get up that way. Is it? Yes, it is. It's right here. Here we go. Oh, there's bones beside it. Then we saw lights in the sky. A lot of lights. Orange spheres were hovering over the whole area, and it seemed the strange orange-red fog was coming out of every crack. We saw a man who came out of the light. I remember I started shouting, and he... He came up to him. My Anton. So we're right here. We have one more page, one more campfire to find. And we will have found every single piece of data except for that one thing by the volcano. Remember how I said that it was probably going to take me another day to finish this? Well, I think I might be able to finish the rest of this today. I might be able to do that. Good to see that the frame rate, of course, is helping me as always. I mean that sarcastically. Ah, there we go. So the question is, is this something up that way? Yes, that would take me back up that way, so what if I go this way instead? Here's what we're going to do. Am I able to go up this way? No, I can't. I can tell right now that I can't go up that way. So instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up this way. This way? Is this the way? Frame rate. Hear that note. That's gotta be it. You must come here. Stop. Your agent has gone missing. Stop. The pass is off limits. Stop. We don't know what's going on. Stop. Nine people are dead. Stop. Before dying, the agent asked, Stop. Where is Anton? Stop. Alright, let me see one thing. 
Yes, we found all the pages. The only thing that remains now is the campfire. The campfire should be located just west of where we are right now. So what we gotta do is we gotta go back north, then head back south. found it. There it is. And we found every single save spot that's now available. We have completed all the map. There's only one thing that remains now. And that's to go all the way up here and go to the volcano. We can do this, guys. We can do this. Okay, so... Here we are, guys. All this hard work has come down to this moment right here. Are you guys ready? Let's do this. Anton. Where are you, Anton? Whoever you are, if you are reading these words, I beg of you, help us. We are in a place they call Post Office Box 5. I don't know where this is. I don't even know what year it is. They are not allowing anyone from the outside to have contact with us. They lock us up in cells, four in each. I saw dozens of cells like that. They talk about something they called Anomaly 7. Every day we undergo tests. Research. Tortures. I have seen how they kill people. I have seen terrible things. Write about it. Let the world know. They conduct the worst experiments possible. They have something that we call the fear chamber. There is no way to say what will happen to the person that ends up there. Some come back, but are no longer themselves. They are absent. Others are dragged out dead. Only few stay sane. I have seen a bright orange light which spoke to me in demonic voices and showed me things worse than any nightmare you can possibly dream. Sometimes people come out of there with broken bones, mutilated, crushed, irradiated, dismembered. I can't take it in anymore. Take away these images. There is a scientist amongst us. He said that during their sick experiments, they discovered something out of this world. They are trying to test it. The truth is that it is testing them. He told us that there are more places like this around the world, and there will come a day the gates of hell will open. You have to stop this. Destroy it. Destroy us. Kill us all. The center is governed by something that is called the Soviet Research Unit for Natural Phenomena. I have seen this on an ID card of the man that was interrogating me. He said we were prisoners, convicts, murderers, rapists, thieves. But that is not true. I have done nothing wrong. I hate them all. They call us subjects. No names, but subjects. I am Subject 73. I don't even remember my real name. I beg of you, please help us. Burn it all to the ground. If only this letter reached beyond the walls of the center. If only the guard who promised to take it has kept her promise. You have to do something. I swear by all that one holds sacred, you have to. My only cellmate, Anton. 
whispers in my ear that everything is going to be fine. That the orange light is singing in the voices of hundreds of angel choirs. Anton promised me that if I listen carefully to the singing, he will free me. Sometimes, however, I think that all of this does not exist. There is no prison. There are no bars. There are no doctors. There is no Anton. There's only this frightening, piercing orange light. <sighs> okay, so you guys ready? Oh. Um. Where's escape? Escape is this way. Escape, escape, escape. Uh oh. It's not the way. Alright. Oh, so this is why exactly there was that, uh, campfire. Uh-oh. Giant rock! No! Great. Let's be one of these things. Okay, we can do this. We can do this, guys. Move any faster. Good. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Come on, run, run, run. You can do this. Where do I go? course. It would all come back down to this. <laughs> Pages are all flying out on their own. Act three. So this is the so final part. We have reached the end. Have you understood your role in my plan? There are no random victims, and nobody is completely innocent. You may not agree, but when the gates to Section 22 open and the world will see true madness, you will understand that everything I have done. Is that the site where people died? Ignore me, just ignore me. There's the site, isn't it? This is the site, guys. We've reached the site of the incident.
Wait. Doc. Doc, can you hear me? It's Anton. That's enough for today. The patient's results are deteriorating. Let's disconnect him. Shit! Turn it off! Quickly! Do it! He can hear us! So this entire time while we were going around, does that mean we were... Doctor? I don't necessarily know. <laughs> I kind of don't know the answer to that. But yeah. It's a good game, at least I'd say, I would say it's a good game. There's still a couple things that kind of left... It's kind of left unknown. At least in my opinion, it's kind of left unknown. It's kind of the fact of... The answer to the question, Who am I? From the guess of it, I guess I'm the one that's the doctor. But then there's also the thing where the little cutscene where I reach the incident. Was that me going back in time, replaying the incident that just happened? Or was that something else? I don't know if you get what I'm saying, and I'll know if you guys get what I'm saying. So overall, I did like this game. I like the fact that in a couple spots, you had no choice but go around a certain way to get to a specific thing. It was interesting how they placed the uh, spirits around in certain locations only, but in some cases they got a little bit annoying because they put the spirits right beside the notes where you would spawn back in if you saved. That happened, I think, maybe either two or three times on my end, where as soon as I spawn in, not by the main areas, but a side area, I had to get started, just start running. But, you guys get what I mean. I don't know if you guys do get what I mean by that either. The, uh, probably one of the only few complaints that I do have is the frame rate. Now, once again, I know that some people would be thinking, the frame rate's something on my end. They'd probably be right if it wasn't for the fact that I'm not the only one apparently that's had this issue. There's um, let me fix this real quick. There's a couple other people, well, a bunch of other people actually, that have had the exact same problem as myself, where they had a whole bunch of frame rate issues. And from what it seems like, they're not making any patches for this game to actually fix those frame rate issues. So. That's not necessarily our fault then, it's slightly their fault, that's probably the only complaint that I do have. That they're not doing anything to try and fix those frame rate issues. Staying around a little bit longer because I know something might happen, who knows. And I'm guessing that is, um, myself or Anton, I don't know which one. I think that's pretty much it, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So that means now I get to the point where I got to start uploading stuff with this specific series. So it's going to take me a couple bits, I was going to say days, but it's going to take me a little bit to actually edit all this out, make the thumbnails for it, because I want to be creative with the thumbnails too with it. And yeah, we'll see where all this goes from here. but. That's all the time we have for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching and just on your support. This is Endoplasma giving you a friendly reminder to keep it real, keep it cool, keep it real cool. Plasma now.